guys, so I have the month of April's empties. Um, instead of doing like two separate videos for like candles and like just the regular stuff that I normally do, I'm putting it all together because I don't really have a whole lot. So, yeah. And you're going to see me like this because I'm a hot mess today. And I just didn't feel like even dealing with like any of this, any of my face or anything. So, Y'all can just bear and grin it and just like just sit back and relax. So here we go. Um, this happened to me again like last empties like it was gel or something and got all in the freaking bag. It happened with this crap. Um, but anyways, this is the Fresh Linden Air Freshener. You can get these at the Dollar Tree and these like really smell good and they last like a really long time and like the smell like lasts forever. So I can still smell it. But like the beads like went away so I do recommend these and you can find those at the Dollar Tree then I use this um this is the mulberry uh it's like the potpourri stuff you put in like the um it's not the like wax burner it's like the other it's like a potpourri burner type thing and this smelled pretty good got it at Goodwill for a dollar and I think you can find those at like anywhere like Dollar, um, dollar Tree or like Walmart places like that and then I used two of these um, apple cinnamon glade um, air fresheners. That's my favorite scent out of those. And then I used, sorry guys, this is like fully looking from that stuff. But this is the daffodil pot. Um, it's like an impression of something. I don't even know, but I got it at Big Lots. This was a pretty good fragrance. It was okay. The only thing that I don't like about these cheap perfumes, a lot of them have that real fake smell, which I know it's a dupe, but it's got this real weird fake smell that I don't like, so I don't know. I would rather spend my money on Avon like perfumes because you can get you can get a lot of their perfumes like on sale for like ten dollars and like normally they're like thirty dollars, so that's what I really recommend doing after this. I'm not gonna be Unless it's something that I really like, I'm not going to be buying a lot of the dupes. Because I have a lot of these um, knockoffs that I need to use up. And then I used up this one. This is the Touch. And um, I really did like this one. It smelled really good. And then I have some Band-Aids. Isaiah gets in on that. He just puts Band-Aids on pretend boo-boos. So... And then I have a few makeup products, and I was really weirded out by this. Um, these are the Almay, um, or Almay, whatever you want to call them. This is in Creme Brulee, and I think these are the, um, I don't know, it's not powder eyeshadow, but I have no idea what these are and I don't know if they went bad on me I haven't had them that long but it's just something and it's like I don't know it's weird feeling and it works good but it's like I don't know if you can see this it's like it don't even move and it's not powder but it's like cream and I took one and literally um like I lifted it up and it was like gel lock so I think these are bad I don't know if any of y'all have ever used these or tried these. Let me know if these are supposed to be that way or because I've got like 10 of these left, like different colors. Let me know what y'all think. I don't know, but I was, these are just not for me. If they're still good, I'm not using them because the crap got on my nerves. And like you can see this one, this is the pink one. This one's um, petals, petal. And you can see how I took it out right there, how it's like, just let me show you. See that crap? That's what it does. And I'm like, that cannot be right. It's like, I don't know. I think it's bad. So unfortunately, that crap's going in the garbage. And I've got like 10 more or 15. I'll, prob I'll probably give them to the girls, let them play with them. This one's the um, It Cosmetics, the Bye Bye Under Cream. I use this for foundation. Absolutely love that. Worked really well. And then, guys, 
y'all know like all of the previously like rants that I'll do whenever I use these e.l.f. mascaras after that one that I tried a long time ago. E.l.f. mascaras I have no luck with. And the reason being, look at this crap. See that wand? It's all gunky and uh, gross looking. And I only got to use this like four or five times and that's what happened. So, yeah. I won't. I, I received this in a giveaway that I won, which I knew right then that the mascara was going to not do good because I never have good luck with it. There's something about the ELF formula that screws up. Then I used up this Smashbox um, foundation, and it was in the color light. really did like that. And I got like two uses out of that because it don't take a whole lot for my face because I don't like to put it on like thick. Um... I know this is nasty looking, but the reason being is I've had it in my shower. This is the um, cleansing cream. It's like, it's a dupe for like Noxzema. I got this at um, Walgreens and my mom used to use this stuff like all the time. It took me forever to even be able to use this stuff, but now it's like a comforting scent. And I, I absolutely love this. This lasts forever and there's still like about this much more left in it. And this was between me and my husband and, and my girls. So, this a, a tube like this will last you forever. And I love how you get like the, the Noxzema smell and like the tingle effect. This is the bond. Love it. So, I still have... The only thing that I don't like about this is dealing with this. And my, my girls does all this kind of crap. Gets it look, looking nasty because I keep it clean and they had a shower yesterday. So, that's what they do. They don't freaking wash the thing off. So, yeah. But it is what it is, right? So, I had done reviews on these Tea Tree Mint Moisturizing Shampoo and Conditioners. This was in my freaking um, shower for like a month or maybe two months, I think it is. They just sat there and sat there and sat there. The girls just used them a time or two. So, I'm like, I'm going to use them up. And I was so glad this was gone because it's horrible. I mean, it made my scalp itch like so bad. And they were just awful. Another thing is this shampoo. This stuff smelled really good. I like this. This is in, um, this is Color Me Happy with Rose Epic Extract. I don't know, Extract. I don't know what this crap's got in it, but it smelled good. Blonde moment, guys. Um, and then... I had an extra one of these conditioners. Um, again, this stuff, it made your hair smell pretty good, but it made my scalp itch, and I can't go for that. So, those were awful. Now, I had I had a lady, and I'm sorry that I forgot your name. They, She had asked me what type of shampoo have I been using. And here lately, which I, had, I, I didn't use it the last time I washed my hair, but they had asked, like, my hair was, like, real, like, shiny and moisturizing and stuff. This is what I've been using. And, guys, this stuff's awesome. This is the um, um, Herbal Essence. It's it's the Sleeker the Butter. And it's Smoothing Shampoo. And I can't read today. Um, but, yeah, this stuff's awesome. Um, when you wash your hair and like if you don't dry or if you air dry it, like you can tell the difference. It's like amazing. So y'all should try this sometimes if you have trouble with like dry hair and stuff. My hair's thick so I need something that will like tame, you know, tame my mane down a little bit. So I got that and used that. And then I use this Love by, um, it's an impression of Love at First Glow by Jennifer Lopez. This stuff is body wash, and it was so thick. It was like a real thick gel. I didn't like it, and I'm, I'm so glad that it's done with because it was horrible. Like, literally, it was awful. And then the kids took the top off. I think they had it in the bathtub in their bubble bath. I don't know what they did. I think that's what they done because it's off, and they took a, a bubble bath last night. So, yeah, this is the Apricot Sun Shower Sunshine, and it's really good. And then, um, these are really good vitamins for your kids. This is the Little Critters uh, Immune C. 
plus sync and whatever that word right there is. I don't even know. I don't even want to try to pronounce that. But um, <clears throat> Isaiah, like, towards the end of the wintertime, um, like, during, like, cold season and viruses and stuff like that, he would always look really pale and stuff. And so one day I told Justin, I'm like, we need to get him on some vitamins or something. So we done that for like, he's been on them for like maybe three months or four, I think it is. And his like color and stuff like came back and stuff. So if your kids are feeling like drained and stuff, I would recommend these. Any t like these are really good. We normally get these in a different kind from, from Walmart. But they take um, two gummies a day. So, and there's 95 in here. So if your kids are like feeling like looking puny and stuff or just like, you know, now it's like allergy season, so it would be a good time to give them these. I do recommend these to all of you new mommies out there. And old mommies, whoever that's got little ones. Um, I use tons of these things. I don't even know why I show these because, you know, it's just a repeat. But these Tide Pods are really good. I've got a lot of these from Couponing, and I use more of these, but I didn't save them all because I feel like a hoarder when I do that. Like, literally. See all this crap? makes you feel like a hoarder when you say that so yeah um now on to um like candles and stuff and i hope i have enough memory on my phone so i gotta make this a hurry um i had received a friend mail type thing i think it was platinum pete i think so i think it was her and i hope it was if it's not i'm sorry but this was um the barista coffee scented candles these things are freaking amazing guys it came with a uh, hazelnut coffee with scotty cappuccino and espresso so that's what the thing looked like and i kept that to where i can know what the candles were which they're not labeled on here but it came in these tiny little um jars and they they burned well they smelled well and i burned all of these in my kitchen as you know yeah this one's not one this was like a goodwill one but these were amazing, and I really did enjoy those. <clears throat> and I think I think this is another another one here. This one. They smelled so freaking good. Um. And there's another one. I think there was like six of them. I think. But anyways, I burned this. Um, lavender and chamomile this is an air wick this is a really good candle it's got that like it sort of smells like lysol to me so i burn this whenever i'm like in a clean mood or something and then this starlight's um mulberry candle this absolutely sucked don't waste your money on these candles because every one that i've had i had crappy luck with and it didn't burn at all i don't know what happened with that so yeah that was a huge fail Another thing that I had, um, I think there was three of these. I don't, I don't even know. There's four. These were the Febreze. Um, it's the ones where you can take two scents, put them together, and it makes a special scent. However, I didn't do that. I put one in the living room and one in the kitchen because I'm random. I'm, old, I'm just, I do stuff like that. They didn't smell that well, so. I have two more left, and I think the next time I'm going to pair them together. I have two different scents, and I'm going to see how well that goes. That's probably why I didn't get a good scent throw off. The scent throw was really light on these, but I think you can still buy these at Walmart. I purchased these like last year or the year before, but they were okay, but next time I'm going to pair them together. See if that would help. And then this is the, um, this is the Febreze one, the Hawaiian one. I shared it last month, and I burned it again. These are really good ones they last like the smell lasts really good and then this one's a glade um uh the reason why that's purple is because that starlight candle it was like not burning good so i had this beside it and i just poured it in there to try to get it to burn but it didn't but this is a i think this one was a pumpkin scented candle i just grabbed it and burned it one day so and then um i burned this Tropical Spice. These are Bath and Body Works. These little candles smell pretty good. I mean, you're not going to get a really good scent throw, but I mean, for what they're worth, they're really good. And then this is the Bahama Freeze. 
I'm not buying any more Bath & Body Works candles unless I have a good deal because it's just too much money for my pocket. So, they're expensive. And I don't want to just sit and burn my money up on candles. You know, that's just for me now. I'm kind of learning the hard way. Um, I can't remember if I shared these or not. If I did, I'm sorry. But anyways, I might have shared these last time. I have no idea. And I'm missing some wax somewhere. Okay, guys. I am all of sorts today. Okay, I was looking for the stuff and it was in the box. So I just kept looking and looking for it and that's where it was at. But anyways, these are um, the wax things that I had in my wax warmer. Got this one on clearance. This is the Zesty... Um, Lemon peppercorn. I didn't like this one at all. Didn't like it at all. It smelled really good. The throw sucked. So, yeah. I won't ever get this one again. Even if it was a quarter, I wouldn't get it. Because it just, you know, doesn't smell. I used this. I can't remember if I shared this last month. If I did, I'm sorry. I think I had it on my piano. I don't know. But this is the wax melts. This is the Hawaiian one and th these are really good they, they smell really good I recommend any of those and then I done the um, sell away candles in monkey farts yeah monkey farts this one was really good I locked it the scent wasn't too strong but you could smell it so I locked that um, and I burned this one this one's the glitter glittering glittering bayberry garland as you can tell, I didn't get much sleep last night, so I'm just reading stuff around today. But I like that one. And it was, I found this one in one of my drawers. I'm like, I just need to use that up. And then I burned this candle and it stopped burning. This was like a Paula Deen or something. Uh, Better Homes and Gardens, it sucked. It tore up, so it's trash. I use this someone special. I got this at Goodwill along with this little one. And a 